Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids, where I think today is the day we actually take on Amius on the live servers for the first time. Not sure if we're going to beat him in today's video. I'm going to try to keep it uh, time limited. We've got our first red key over here. We've got the red key then from over here. Now we are over in Dead Rise. So we need to go. We actually need to clear a few bosses uh, and a few stages to get this and try squeeze in some Amius fights. If we don't beat him today, and I'm not really expecting, we'll probably be able to get him done in the time of today's video. Uh, we'll just come back uh, tomorrow and give him a, a bit of focus tomorrow. So here we go. I think, you know, uh, for this, man, this one's a bit annoying. I don't have too much in, in terms of damage. She's probably the best. And do I have Phoenix built up for damage? That would make this easier. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> Phoenix missing some gear. What about you? Do you have any gear on? She, yeah, okay, she's geared enough. That's fine. Um, what about Thylesia? Do you have any gear on? Good speed? Uh, some damage. 119% crit. That's what I like to see. We speed in all battles. All right, right, this should be totally fine. They should absolutely slam through this. Just being cautious here. I think for this one, like I'm putting in the five because, you know, their, their, their gear isn't super good. We don't have a top tier nuker. So just putting in a full team to just, you know, overkill them as it were. Yeah, they, they did a little bit of damage there. Hefrak, he hit us back. Not enough to trigger his double hit, though. That Funny, Hefrak, the single hit, can, if it becomes a double hit, that, that goes from leaving you at 70% health to having you dead very, very quickly. I think the Godseeker actually was a, was a poor choice. I don't think we need the Godseeker. She's just slowing us down. All right, there we go. Deacon actually being quite helpful. He just did an A1, so he should be back to his other moves. Deacon, really nice for this stage, pumping out the... Decreased defense. I think this is basically we could have done that with Deacon and Skullcrown, actually. I think the others, and that last year, the others were just sort of there. Ah, we got our first quest complete as well. Clear 25 stages. That gets us halfway to 500 energy. Okay, we'll take it. First up, boss today. Ooh, this one could be annoying. Scarab. This one could be very annoying. I'm actually going to check the best teams for this. Just raw power. Oh, Little Miss Annie destroys HP. Yeah, she does. On this move. Destroys my... Okay, so Little Miss Annie is definitely the play. What else are we thinking? I'm trying to get through this quickly so we have more time for Amius. Uh, fairly standard stuff, just sort of damage, really. All right, let's put in Zephy. Let's put in Rotus. Uh, do I have anyone that's going to actually give us shields? <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so, actually. This is going to be fairly slow. That's a little annoying. We could put in Sathalia for heals. So I don't know if we need it. Will he counterattack Rhonda more? Uh, people not really using Rhonda. All right, Rotus in there. Um, yeah, gosh, there's no easy shielder, huh? That is frustrating. Okay, let's put in, I guess, an ally attack, increase attack. And that's probably fine, I suppose. Um... We could put in a weaken with Varl. Let's put in a weaken with Varl. And decrease defense with Rotus A1. Might be actually better with Vlad. I think Vlad might be a little too slow. We'll put Vlad in. He also gives us a leech. So that's fine. Let's go. I think this probably works full auto. We buff up. Rotus also destroys max HP. Oh, but Rotus weak hit. He's the wrong affinity. Oh, that's going to make it awkward. Decrease defense. Let's just make sure she does the right move. She even gets a turn. Here we go. Make sure she does the right move. I mean, it did a bit, not a crazy amount. This is actually, this is a brutal stage. We could, we could just put bolster set on someone. That would somewhat help. Okay, he's stolen some stuff. I think it's fine. I, I think, do Seafy Little Miss Annie just solo this? <laughs> I, maybe. Rotus keeps weak hitting with his destroy max HP move, which is very sad. It's on a two turn cooldown, but he doesn't want to land it. I actually think the three man, I think this three man would have been better. He's going to revive Little Miss Annie again. Lil Miss Annie revives with a shield. That's actually... Wow, Lil Miss Annie's clutch for this. She revives with a shield. 
This is going to be nasty stage, though. You guys tell me how you beat this. This seems quite tough. I'll have to have another look to see if there's an actual shield champion. I don't know if there is. This is definitely going smoother now we've ditched the other champs. <laughs> this is funny. Will run Romance. Probably just going to get them killed, actually. Even the counterattack procs attacks. That kind of sucks. Okay. No, man, he weak hit again. He is weak hit. What is it? Like a 35% chance to weak hit? He has done, what, three of those A2s? And every single time he's weak hit. It's just criminal, man. <laughs> Decrease attack a little, Misani. We don't like to see that. He, he's critting fate of destruction. He's critting every single time. That's no problem. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it didn't even hit that hard anyway. He actually hit that one, though. Oh. Ah, the leech might actually be helpful. Yeah, we're going to kill it no problem. See if he's... You know, I'm actually, for the sake of the of the video... I'm going to pause. We'll be back when we beat this because this is going to take like eight minutes. I'll be back. All right, guys. And here we are. We're back finally. Didn't take eight minutes. One thing I did notice is Little Miss Annie doesn't actually use uh, her A3 properly. She just doesn't do it. So what I found was the strat would be to actually put in just the Sifi Rotus Little Miss Annie. You actually want to let Little Miss Annie die, then revive her with Sifi. And then when she automatically does her A1 like this, you click auto. Oh, never mind. So we actually won. But then you fire off her A3 because otherwise the boss is putting decreased attack on her with his A1 and that really reduces her damage. So when Sifu revives her, she comes back with increased attack and a shield. So she's protected. And then you go in with her A3, which is going to destroy the boss. And that would probably speed it up a bit. Uh, supersonic, man. If this was Merciless, it'd be pretty decent. Just because it's got the crit rate, crit damage. It's the wrong stats. We've got attack percent supersonic. Okay. Hmm. I'll probably keep some of this stuff. I think Merciless is so strong. It's probably actually worth Chaos Warring. There's Mythical Chaos War, albeit only five star. That's a really nasty boss. <laughs> that is so nasty. Um, so what you could do, obviously, let me check. I don't, like I said, I don't feel like there's many champions, if any, that do shield in here, which makes this really, really tough. Uh, you could use Blood Shield accessories. That becomes potentially extremely important blood shield accessories like a blood shield accessory on a rotus or annie or something they generate a shield whenever they do damage it stops the counter attack it's gonna uh, speed your run up a heck of a lot like a heck of a lot poisons can also work so let me see you can it looks like use frozen banshee so that might be how you could do it guys frozen banshee in a regen set with a blood shield accessory um she could do it she might need a bit of resistance as well you could check on hellhades.com for this particular stage. I think this is quite, quite a nasty one, though. <laughs> like, bolster or shield set could get you through the first turn, but yeah, like, I'm not seeing any shield champions here. We actually came seventh. Jeez, yeah, this is absolutely brutal. And like, you can see almost everyone in my clan is using Sifi Rotus, you know, and Lil Miss Annie's. This is, this is very hard. I would actually say this is probably, it looks to be Probably the worst stage so far. But yeah, good Poisoner. I think even Frozen Banshee. But man, like, you, you simply might not have any Blood Shield accessories. And I think then it becomes very hard, <laughs> right? It's just very hard then. Wow, that's a brood. That's an absolutely killer boss. Holy moly. Okay, so now we just go around the outside. We've got another boss. We've got back-to-back -back bosses. We have Hard Spider and Magma Dragon. Uh, Timid Provokes. So that's that done. That's fine. Force affinity only. I think we bring in him for damage. Ah, oh, we could actually bring in a Geomancer. I think this Geomancer is fast. Um, do I want to bring in any support? Maybe. Maybe I do want to bring in some support. Actually, there's very little healing here. Rear guard heals. Uh, Minyaya heals, but gosh, he's terrible. You also provoke it Nari the Lucky. Nari the Lucky, making things happen. I guess, I guess Black Knight is the best healer. Um, if any decreased defense? Oh, jeez. Wait, 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 wait. There's no decreased defense. Does he do decreased defense? I don't think so. Ah, well, Suren. 
she does it. She's, uh, as you can see, she's level four. Ah, oh, okay. Shiran is definitely one to level up. She gives you AoE decrease defense. Moranix, I guess, will have to be there. Well, I, 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 I'm trying not to use all legendaries. Like, I'm trying to keep, like, that's why I didn't use Martyr the previous time. Uh, I was, like, trying to keep it a little more accessible, but at the same time, we've used Rotus now for three bosses, so I feel like we've left accessibility a little far behind. Let's see, who do I want to burn? I guess we'll burn the spider. You can't burn the other guy. Oh, shit, the spider's immune to burn. Ah, Geomancer's kind of useless. Ah, we'll leave him in for fun. <laughs> we'll leave Geo in for fun, will we? No, no, no. Let's switch him out. Okay, so Geo ain't gonna work. That's funny. That's funny. We're learning together. We're learning together, everybody. Uh, you, this guy. Helior, it's your time to shine. He's been waiting and waiting. I hope he's got gear on. I see Moranix is missing gear. I actually thought I re-geared her uh, for Curse City earlier, but I guess not. Kegs of Dread. I'm pretty sure I've got a Provoke set on Timmet, so we're going to rely on that to keep us alive. Actually, pretty solid shield there from Helior. That's actually really good. Helior, I take back everything bad I've ever said about you. You're finally getting a chance to shine. The boss, as you can see, is pretty squishy. Also didn't really do much damage. We've got a Provoke there from Black Knight, so I think that's really any, any potential danger gone. Last Breath, massive damage from Black Knight. Terrifying them. Inexorable End. Timmet. Timmet's doing some work. All the AoEs. Helior is going to cleanse it off. Throws the burns back on the Magma Dragon. Gives him two continuous heals. Thanks, Helior. Helior, you were doing, you were doing so well, Helior. You were doing so good. We were all talking about how he, the shield was brilliant. It's great having you on this team. Luckily, Timmet's there and he strips off the buffs. Luckily. I think this is a couple of bosses now where Timmet's actually been quite good. I've got pretty decent gear on Timmet, to be fair, which helps. There's the Provoke. Again, that's a Provoke set on him, helping him to do that. Black Knight has got a very, very good Provoke A1. Um, yeah, again, there's some challenge, I feel, to this boss on roster. You know, like we had a legendary decreased defense. Apart from that, I think Swiren is just about your only option. We've got Staltus, who's pretty much best in class. Um, yeah, and then Timmet was, was really, really good. Ooh, Merciless with crit damage speed. Not terrible. We've got Supersonic with speed. Okay, let's go. The rest are five star. Oh, attack percent gauntlets. So close to crit damage gauntlets. Right, back to the map. Let's see, actually, let's see. What did other people run on this one? Best teams. We came third there so far. Ah, ah, <laughs> Thanatos. Oh, look at everyone's falling in to the Geomancer trap. Like I said, I'm pretty sure he doesn't work on that boss. Everyone's first inclination. Every that makes me feel better. Everyone goes in. It's like, oh, Geomancer, man. Also, I do th find it funny. This is my clan. It shows my clan insignia. But for the rest of my clan, they're like, what's their clan insignia? No clue. Could be anything. They could be in any clan in your clan. Lads, what's going on? Oh, Harima. Okay, Harima smashed it. Oh, Mikage actually can go in as well. Helior showing up a couple of times. Double Staltus. I do like that. Black Knight. Yeah, like I said, for epics, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, Sachi might actually be okay. Uh, Rian would be good as well if you've got him. Fire Gun Isbale would actually, I think, be very strong. And you might have a copy of her. Um, for sure. Sir Artemage, not bad. Durandil, actually good. I think there's actually some very good epics. It's more the question, do you have actually have them built up? And I'd definitely be saying Swiren, really good. Decreased defense, AoE. Yeah, I'd probably be looking at like Swiren, Fire Gun, Isbail, um, maybe Rian for Weaken as well. I think Sachi gives increased attack and then maybe something to heal or keep you alive, which actually becomes quite difficult. Maybe no healing, just try and nuke him down. Maybe someone is Leech. She has some healing, but she's pretty terrible. This is going to be a, a fairly tricky one as well. There's a few tricky bosses here. Okay. We got to get, we got to still got to get to Amius, who's going to be the hardest one. Right. Defense based uh, waves. He can probably solo it. Um, he's very slow, though. Let's put in someone a bit faster. Let's just put in multiple just to make sure we take him down. My worry about, like, I do have a few of these really slow champions. Like we've seen it my ethos. He's like 100 speed. I'm pretty sure Ignatius is probably literally about 100 speed as well, but he smacks really hard. It's really strong.
for faction crypts. The problem we're running into here in Cursed City is that you can have enemies that have provokes or stuns, and then your slow champion gets stun locked. I was like, yeah, you can basically one shot the wave. But if he doesn't have enough, like right there, you got stunned, right? If he doesn't have enough speed, he's just going to get stun locked. And like here, he'd be stun locked by Astralon and provoke locked by, by this guy. I think even, and he do, no, he does shield. He doesn't provoke. But yeah, we'd, we'd be wrecked. Again, they've got stuns here on Stealthus. I think he'd, he'd get stun locked pretty hard. So yeah, there we go. Provoke as well. So kind of annoying. You don't need, you don't need much speed. Like I think like. <laughs> I don't know, probably 150 speed and you'd be fine, but when you've got these dumb, really slow champions built for faction wars, they kind of flop hard. This wave is giving us some trouble. Yeah, he's stunned again. Now, luckily, we've got still of the Drakes, so we're not going to die. But is this going to take some time? Still weak hitting everything. Tantra, stealing stuff. They should be out of CC now, so Ignatius should finally get a turn. It's gonna be quite it's quite hard to kill uh Cethalia waves though when like your stun locks and stuff like that. Oh, he doesn't even have any oh, I've never booked him. He's got no cooldowns. <laughs> he has like a five turn cooldown on his AoE. Something like that. And luckily, again, Cantra doing well here, stealing that continuous heal off. Stuns on both of them. And then we actually start provoking. There's the AoE. And we finish him off. So yeah, Cantra actually did the most. That's hilarious. Cantra is not built for damage, but just because she's so much faster, she actually did more than Ignatius. Ignatius barely did more damage than Sil of the Drakes. That's quite funny. Faction more bills fading. Void champions. Oh, this is an awakened state. Yes, we are going this way. An awakened stage. You could skip this one. You could go for D12 instead if you wanted. HB champions Timmet. Again, the boy. Uh, over here, voids of any description. Oh no, voids of these factions. Put in Kresk and him any decreased defensers no not really i think that should be uh that should be sufficient really crit rate in all battles yeah sure oh we've not read oh oh uh, broadmaw <laughs> six star broadmaw yeah woo this would be tough though oh man I, I also have a five star here but like you could totally get blocked by the stars here it's so limited only voids from these factions Hot dogs. That's tough. Okay. Yeah, like, you know, we're definitely hitting the champ restrictions here. And I, 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 that doesn't bother me I, either. I think that's okay. I guess par partially it doesn't bother me because for me, it's clearly no problem. Like, I've got the champs every stage so far. We are going to hit stages where we don't. But for me, that's sort of enjoyable because it makes shard pulling more fun. I think it's a good thing to have in the game. Stuff that makes more champions more viable. I can't believe he landed a debuff on Chris. Chris has like 500 resistance. <laughs> Just a random, like, was it Jotun or something? Bam, there we go. There's a nuke. We've got no increased attack, so. Uh, we've got lots of damage. Uh, we've got a good, good enough build on Ilil, but Ilil just has horrifically bad multipliers so he just never does any damage his a1 he could actually steal an increased attack with his a1 that would be that'd be nice he's still in that stuff yeah if he if he a a1 kytus you know i think that actually might make the run the fastest would be if we did that yo grab <laughs> grab that increased attack boy <laughs> that's good i think that will actually save us time and then we'll make sure he does his a we i think he does his a2 priority one so, all right, then we can leave him do what he wants. I think that will actually speed it up. Hey, look, it's Isla. Yeah, he can't even one-shot her. That's embarrassing, man. Isla, I, I, he's such a cool champion. I, I, when I got him, I used him for a while. I used him for a while in Live Arena. And I was, he was, he's pretty decent. He's okay. Uh, but then I got Wukong. And I, th I think Wukong does what Isla does a million times better. Wukong does so much more damage. He's got so much more kill pressure. And Wukong also deals with with uh, like stone skin champions. Like Isla can ignore stone skin, but Isla just doesn't hit hard enough to kill them. Like you can you can hit the <laughs> ultimate death knight and he just lives. It's it's awkward. Okay, this again should be a fairly tough one. We've got Bommel and we've got hard ice golem. Okay, uh, okay, we're gonna go pretty legendary heavy. Elva I think makes this basically free if you've got her. If we hit stuff too hard. Ice Golem, he's so weak, he probably doesn't even kill us, right? You know, I'm going to put in Oella for safety. I'll put in him. Um, 
put in poisons and burns, sure. And uh, we'll put in, we've got a couple of damage right here. We'll put in maybe ninja for burns and freeze. That seems fine. We could always put in another second Michinaki actually might be better. Do I care about trying to freeze the bombs? Probably not. Let's put in a second Michinaki. Let's see what happens. I think this should work fine. I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. Let's find out. Wella, buffing us up. Dire Warl. Bro. Okay. Did that that that's too annoying. We gotta okay, let's restart that. Two of them, and not one of them places the hex. Unbelievable. Okay, how about you place the hex? Now you guys can do what you want. There, there we, now we've got decrease attack. Okay, all the ads are dead already. Got burns on bomb. What do burns do on bombel? Do they give him turn meter or something? There's the first retaliation. Got four bombs on one of our guys. Oh wow, these ad the, the side ads are absolutely dying so fast. Brimstone is actually so good for these bosses as well. That makes a huge difference, Brimstone. There's so many bombs on. <laughs> He's got so many bombs. Uh, they don't actually do much damage. Okay, we're fine. So th this is a nasty pair of bosses, but they're, they're quite weak. And there's a couple of pretty... Like, we've got some very strong champions here. Like, Michinaki is insanely good. I mean, Elva and Oella. Like, we've basically got realistically four s tier champions whoa Woo -hoo -hoo. hey you can still die i i think this is going to be a hard boss for a lot of players like i'm slamming it but man like if you don't have these champs let's check out let's have a look at what else we could use here this one could absolutely be tough slam again this is where like defiant and stalwart gear could be very strong on like an elva Something like that. Yeah, I feel like this one is fairly hard carried by Elva. Oh, no, it's supersonic. I keep mixing them up. This one is attack percent. Eh, nothing much on it. Supersonic, no speed. We should keep them all, though. We could reroll them. Mythical speed. Uh, all right, cool. Eclipse Tower unlocked. Fight the Lunar Archon. Okay, yeah, give us a sec. Give us a sec. Um, I think we're not going to have time in the video. Uh, who, what else do people run? Very similar team, ally attack and her. Yeah, we actually did it pretty slowly. We've got, again, some raw raw damage. Ninja's coming in again if you've got ninja. Foley looks to be very strong. Oh, Foley. He can block revive. Foley is definitely perfect here. He'd be the pick. Yeah, he block revives on the ice golem ads. Done. They can't be revived. The fight gets a million times easier. Okay. Okay. Uh, but if you don't have him, it gets more tricky. You've got... Okay. This guy, like JD, he did it really fast. He just ran a bunch of Royal Guards, Elva, and Ninja. Now, if you don't have Elva, like Pixneal could honestly work. She, she heals. Pixneal could keep your team alive. Uh, King Galkabar could. Then it gets a bit rough, like uh, Hitatsu is not bad. You know what? Taraki the Frog, actually a good option. Probably be bringing in Apothecary. You are fairly limited. Knock the Paralyzer. He, he could be good here. Uh, as you can see, I, I don't really use my Noct ever. <laughs> he's chilling. He's chilling over there with Islin. Unused. Islin would also be good. Okay. You know what? Islin would actually be good here as well. He would help your team stay alive big time. So you do have some options, but I do think it's fairly tricky. You could use Creodon for like speed boosting and freezes as well. Dark Kale. Fortunately, this boss immune to poison. And probably the poisons on Bomba would not be uh, super good. I do think, yeah. Honestly, these are these few are getting tricky. Let's do the, this guy as well. And I think we'll do Amius tomorrow just for the video. Um, defense based again. Okay, similar sort of team. Let's put in a few of these. Does this guy have any gear on? Gresh can do some decent damage. Gresh should be pretty good for these. Eh, no. 167 speed. No. Gresh, back in the vault. <laughs> Goodbye. Hmm. It's gonna be it'd be fun to sort of min max these stages and try to do them as quick as possible as well. I'd I kind of enjoy that. It's sort of like faction wars 2.0 basically. Crisk secures the kill with crits. Look at Chris go getting crits. Ooh, ultimate death knight on this wave. 
<laughs> and there we go. Our nuker, our AOE damage dealer has been provoked and had a cooldown increased as well. Fantastic. Well, he a one the ultimate death knight to death, so that's okay. I swear to God, if Ignatius gets out damaged by Krisk, we're just going to have to rebuild Ignatius. We still have uh, free gearing changes for another day. No, he's on his A1. He doesn't have, the, he doesn't have his cooldown. <laughs> Did he get locked out by two turns by, by the vampire guy? Maybe. I've seen vampire guy. What's his name? Blood, blood thirster, blood drink. I don't know. Blood maniac. Seen him a few times in live arena, actually. Block revive and a little bit of lockout. It's not bad. Mostly push their turns back. Still doesn't have an AoE. Oh man, Ignatius. <laughs> he does have two AoEs, doesn't he? Hopefully I've not been making a fool of myself this whole video thinking that he does. I know he has really long cooldowns and I'm almost certain I don't have any books in him. Might have to book him just for these, these waves. There's an AoE. A weak hit one, but it's dead. Okay, cool. Ignatius beaten my... No, Ignatius won this one. Good job. Redeemed. Redeemed. Uh, and let's do this boss as well. Eternal Dragon. Um, should I? I probably shouldn't have even been going this way. I guess it's fine. No, we should have gone this way so we could get into Soul Cross. Uh, let's do Eternal Dragon at this point. Sure. What the heck? Let's do it. We'll go into Soul Cross the next day. It's fine. Oh, Vulcanan. Lil Miss Annie, Vulcanan, the combo. Seafy, Rotus, and uh, maybe Turvold. Now, Bunny, 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 but uh, we've got no increased attack. Um, you, you do increase attack. Let's go. Increase attack. So, Vulcanan, you need to be careful. Vulcanan will absolutely kill the wrong person. I steal some max HP. Poor Annie. Uh, Annie's going to be revived. It's fine. Annie gets revived. Annie won't do her correct move. We've got no decreased defense. Annie smacks him anyway. Vulcanan. Ooh, that's a juicy hit right there. Got Brimstone out as well. Vulcanan. Doing work, my dude. Hex of Blades. Decent damage. Decreased speed on basically everything. That's pretty good. Falcon and A1. Annie A2. Another one of them. Rotus should secure it. Nope. Not quite. Almost secured the kill. Brimstone secures the kill. 22 turns. That's pretty quick. Falcon and Beast Mode. Holy heck. Okay. That's a good shield. Speed, crit rate, crit damage. Mwah. That's top tier. Even if it's epic, that's great. Oh, it's so close. It's so close to perfection. It's so close. That just feels bad. Is it only five star? No, it's six star as well. Oh, that feels bad. That's why I clicked it. And 750 coins. Okay, it's a bit random. Yeah, that's not, not a great room. 750 medium coins? Is that it? Okay, fine. Sure, sure, sure. Are they the small coins or the medium coins? Wait a second. Maybe they're me maybe medium coins isn't so bad. It's almost an immortal, actually, is it? Okay, never mind. Okay, that actually is pretty good. It's almost an immortal soul stone. Okay, I'll take that. I will take that. Let's give Amius one go. We get one attempt. Oh, also, I need to do... Uh-oh. If this goes four, I'm screwed. Okay, it's magic. We're fine. Let's give Amius one go. That could roll lots of crit rate. We'll keep that. No sacred shards to refill the pot today. Slam this quickly let's get my key recharging and we'll go back totally forgot it was uh clan boss time i got too excited by curse city all right let's go so there we go good progress today actually pretty challenging bosses touch on this guy quickly actually first place right there Vulcanan. let's go people are just running seafy rotus and a lot of damage if you don't have seafy rotus um in terms of people to keep you alive, it is a little bit more tricky. You do have uh, Sandlash Survivor could be good. Steel Skull could actually be really good for this. Steel Skull. That's a bit awkward, though. Gore Grab could give you a revive. You've got Decreased Defense with War Maiden. That might be quite good. Offerees actually could come in. Faction War, good champion as well. 
That's a bit more limited then. Uh, you could certainly bring in ally tax. Could be strong. Aliko would be strong. Uh, Dark Elhane, everyone will have. She'll be good. You know, he'd actually be very strong. A Kemptum could maybe even solo this boss, potentially. Could be very strong. Like high speed regen and accuracy. Just stacking poisons on everything. That could work. Um, I, that'd actually be kind of fun. So uh, there are some options here, but it is, it is a bit it is a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. Wukong at least gives nearly everyone some damage options. He's in the faction. You've got Razzlevarg for damage, Uko. So some semi-recent fusions, Nishak from last year. Some semi-recent fusions uh, can help out. Your Carl, everyone can get as well. Um, Margain, last Halloween fusion last year. Okay, so some options. Let's go in. Amius, the Lunar Archon. We are here. Has anyone in my clan, no one in my clan has beaten him yet. Globally, people have beaten him. 26 turn, that's very fast. Ooh, Fushan, huh? An ally attack. Okay, I like that. And Lydia, Sulfurion, huh? Lots of, okay, so lots of cold hearts. I think that's probably for heal reduction. Cold heart brings heal reduction and probably very easy to get awakening on her. So that could work. I wonder what the accuracy you need is. We'll find that out tomorrow. We're just going to dive in today. I could build this team actually quite easily. I do agree. I think Elva is like a hard card for this. Mithrala should be really strong as well. I also think Bambus might be sick. I don't think we're going to use them today. I think we'll use... We've got increased attack. That's fine. Attack in all, all battles. I think we'll use speed though. So I think this is the most sort of standard setup. We've got buff strip. We've got damage. We've increased attack for the damage. We've got decreased attack. Bombs are good. Two champs to keep us alive. Excuse me, a revive. We want heal reduction then. I think I might use Venomage. Venomage could be good. Got and got 300 accuracy. That might be too low. I don't know. Where is my cold heart? I've got a very fast cold heart, but I don't think she's any accuracy. She's like 270. Eh, 300 speed. We give cold heart a go? Let's give it a go. Let's go in on manual and see what we can do. We'll give it one, one attempt for today's video, and then it will be the next day's video will be this, basically. So... Double check, what does he do? He removes debuffs from himself. And stuns everyone. Okay, so we want to block that. We don't want to do any debuffs yet. You could just say one. Oh, he resisted. Uh-oh. That's not ideal. Um, I, I guess there's no real harm in poisoning him. Bit of damage, and there's probably no harm in putting on some bombs. That probably works fine. Wukong can smack him. Hit pretty hard. He actually hit us pretty hard. He doesn't cleanse the bombs. Oh, well, isn't that interesting? Oh, he heals so much, though. There's heal reduction. Okay, heal reduction. Excellent. Let's give us increased attack so we hit a bit harder. Put out more bombs. And you know what? Just more bombs. I think bombs is the, <laughs> bombs is the way. <laughs> I'm a bomb believer. <laughs> but, whoa, wait. He did his... He did his A2 first. Then he did his A3. Okay. We can cleanse the stun. He turned the heal reduction in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We can get heal reduction on. Nah, he resisted. Ugh. Okay. Put on another, another bomb. We've done officially done zero damage. I think he flips form now soon as well. well I can remove the heal reduction. He resisted it. Ah. That's frustrating. Our one attempt today. He's now full up of poisons. This could take a while. One, two, three, four. He's full up, huh? Well, I guess we'll hit him with Heartseeker. Does a chunk, but he's just healing everything up. I'm going to keep my cooldowns for when he transforms. And with this. So we should transform now. And I think in this form, he does a lot of damage. That's everyone asleep. Oh, ho, ho. whoa. Amy is bruh. Bruh. Guess we'll give us increased attack. Uh, ouch. Guess we'll re res Nishak. You can put decrease attack on and bombs. Wukong revives himself. Okay, so that's what probably makes Wukong really good here. We can put buffs on. You can shield up. 
He kills Wukong. Okay, you know Wukong. Oh. Is that what it is? He keeps attacking Wukong. He's back to form one. Oh my god, but he's fully he's fully bloody healed again. Gonna stun. We can cleanse the no, we can't cleanse the stun. I think we're gonna have to give up. The healing. He's got too much healing. If I res Nishak, I think he probably changes form now, right? Oh my god, he's like full health, dude. He has changed form. This the one, does this change our buffs into debuffs? Oh, he does. He do Oh, okay. Do we want to debuff him? Oh, yeah. That was maybe a mistake. He's not... He's not quite able to kill us, though, so that's good. Oh my god, but he keeps full healing himself. Ugh. Coldheart's just dead. She's out for the count. Give increased attack to my damage. But can we actually do it? He's going to do this move next. He moves any debuffs. Well, I think we can hit bombs on him. He doesn't seem to be able to remove bombs. And cleanse these. Okay. Can land more bombs. The healing sucks. And then we don't buff up because he's going to change forms, I guess. And at this point, I could probably try to block his buffs. He resists it anyway. I think he switches forms here, so I think we do want to land decreased attack. He's got too many debuffs. <laughs> he has too many debuffs. I probably should have revived her, but she probably would just die anyway. Okay, so he's doing that bullshit. Right. Revive Cold Heart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, he's got nine. Well... I guess we just say one. It gets filled with a bomb. Not ideal. We can give increased attack to everyone, increased defense. He's already done all of his stuff. A1 does some decent damage. A2, some decent damage. Buff up and protect. Kills Cold Heart. Which is form. We are actually getting him down, and that's a huge heal. So. We're not miles off being able to beat him, actually. This strat, I can see the concept of it. I think we need Cold Heart. I think what we do to beat this, you know what? Let's, let's maybe just do it in this video. Hang on, let, let me pause for a sec. So what we're going to do is rebuild Venomage. I've decided I want to beat this boss now. <laughs> I want to take him down. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to Hell Hades. We're going to check out the stages tool. Yes, Curse City. Uh, Amius Lunar Archon, hard. Stage. Stage one? Okay. <laughs> Stage one. Um, okay. He has a lot of, re he has a lot of resistance. Holy shit. We need like 500 accuracy. Right. Okay. Well, let's see if we can do that. Let's just get her with very high accuracy. Okay. High accuracy. And I suppose speed would be good as well. Let's go. Don't want to steal stuff off people I'm using. Not actually using him anymore. Yeah, we can steal that. Okay. Gets her to 400. Need to sell something, apparently. Go sell that. Now does it work? Sell two. Sell that. Now will it work? Two free slots? Two free slots. I guess I have to unequip both of them at the same time and then put it back on. I don't know. Very strange. Uh, here we go. Let's slap that on. There we are. Lovely. And then we'll check the rest of her gear. We want to get that accuracy a bit higher. We could also just use Mithrala's aura. That would probably work. Let's give her some defensive stuff as well. This guy does hit pretty hard. Um, I saw YST's video yesterday. I'm trying to remember what he did. I think that he built 
Venomage, I think it's if they're the lowest HP, they get targeted by by the dude. And we do have her four star awaken, so she'd be fairly tanky. So let me see. She's got lots of HP percent. So if we switch this to let's say accuracy first, let's do priority on speed. Okay. So perception. We do have some. Hey, that one's pretty solid. That will do. She loses some speed. And then we go, uh, yeah, then we go for a priority. Defense percent. Gloves. Okay, that will do. Again, she's lost a bit of speed, but she has enough accuracy now. She's got lots of defense. I think if she's the squishiest person, let's just try this. I think if she's the squishiest person, he'll target her. So we take out her and we put in Venomage. I think the A2 in his form 2. Let's double check it. Boss guide. So in form 2... A1, attacks one enemy two times, ignores defense, more damage for every debuff. His ignore defense is weaker with this. And he active. oh yeah, he activates this move if he kills someone. So we really don't want him to kill anyone, and he was killing them. He might just keep killing Wukong, mind you. <laughs> that might happen. He might just kill Wukong. <laughs> so that might be the strat that Wukong's supposed to die and you just live through. I'm not sure. So we can absolutely buff up here. Then it gets weird. I guess we'll just buff up. She can... I don't know, I guess put on decreased defense. Just put out a bunch of bombs. Wukong, smack him. Might be... I wonder if it's an accuracy Wukong that people are using. Okay, so he did his heal. So he does his A2 first. Increases all buffs, decreases debuffs, heals him. Uh huh. And fills his turn meter. Well, he didn't fill his turn meter too much, I don't think. This move here, he's gonna switch any debuffs into their opposite. Okay. Hang on. If I let's restart. Let's just. Does he always start with that? We could probably prevent that team uh, that heal on turn one. I don't know. It might be like he does different moves depending on what happens. So we'll buff up here. We'll increase attack. But this time I'm going to put heal reduction on. So no healing for you. And some poisons. Now you're unhappy. Ha ha! Loads of bombs. Smack him. He does the A2. Oh, he does his A2 first. Okay. So he tried to heal himself. Didn't work. Now he's going to try turn... Uh debuffs into their buff forms and he's going to try stun everyone right i'll keep the thing to cleanser a lot of poisons just a1 a1 accuracy on wukong would be really good because then we could rip all those off put out more bombs i guess he can't get rid of the poisons he did heal some that hit him pretty hard i can remove the stun uh, actually, he can no longer cleanse, right? So now we can put decreased defense, decreased attack. Okay, that's pretty good. We'll save her buffs because he's going to switch form and rip our buffs off. This is where ripping off that heal thing would be great, huh? But it doesn't work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It does have ten. That's slightly unfortunate. We could extend the poisons and blow up the bomb. That might be worthwhile. Do that. Bang. Okay. And again, he's going to strip our buffs off, I think. So he switches form. Puts everyone to sleep. Takes a big chunk from Brimstone. Man, he heals so freaking much. This guy's like nonstop healing. But he's got a couple of turns to switch back now, so we can take advantage of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ugh! He's got too many poisons. We can't get heal reduction on. I guess we'll just do another bomb. An A1. Can't do heal reduction. She Oh, she destroys the poisons. Okay. Now we're talking. She destroys poisons. Can he hit him? I wonder. The shield up. Now he hit her and she lived. Okay, cool. Got to heal so much. Oh, and he killed her anyway. Jeez. Oh, this is frustrating. There's definitely... We're missing something here. We're missing something. 
Revive her. It's like, this is super close to working, but it's just slightly off. But it's so close. Like, I think Wukong might actually be a liability. He's not actually doing anything for us because he doesn't have enough accuracy. We might want to switch him out. He's going to transform in a second. We've got lots of poisons on. Definitely decreases attack. Yeah, Venomage is the MVP for this, this rotation. He's going to put us all to sleep. That's frustrating. He nukes us, but we survive. Good. Revive him. We've got a couple of turns now, though. He has basically full life, which is rather annoying. Definitely put on decrease attack. Protect us. Wukong, A1. Oh, he kills her and he puts everyone to sleep. I think that gives him turn meter as well. How do we have her not die to that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he had decrease attack. Now he's done this move first. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I think we just give up for this one. I think we give up and we come back tomorrow. I think we're sort of close to figuring out something. But it's not quite working. I'll have to check something out. We're going to have to switch something. Something's not quite right. That's sort of the problem here. Something is not quite right. I feel like we almost have a strategy that works. But something is going wrong. Yeah, something is going slightly wrong. It almost works, but it doesn't quite. <laughs> almost, but not quite. Poison is good. He's going to turn those into debuffs. Stopping the healing is great. That heal reduction is great, but he kills her. He hit her for 40... Like, he hit her for 40,000. And then he's just picking people off and ripping through his moves. What form is he even in now? So we know he's back in this, but he's got no cooldowns. Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah, he get, gets... Uh, anyway, we'll be back tomorrow. That's enough of this bullshit. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>